see this book because this book is me. I am math. What's that supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean that you can work your whole I'm Nathan Scott, Mr. Big Shot, scoring my touchdowns on somebody else because I've I don't even play football. Whatever. The point is, at the end of the day, all your bluster and BS don't mean anything to math because math don't care and neither do I. Does English care? Because I really suck at that too. Let's just get started. Uh, when we pick up with Nathan, he's got a family, still married to Haley, and his son is four years old. They've got their problems like any other family does, and they've got their challenges and their issues, and, you know, Nathan has got um, a lot of challenges to face. One of the reasons I was really excited about this year was because I really got to explore a different emotional level of Haley. I think, you know, overall, it's, it's, it's a really great story, the way that they sort of stick together, and um, in the way that, you know, Haley and Nathan really become stronger through, you know, Jamie, their son. Jamie follows in the footsteps of his parents because a big part of our tale was Lucas and Nathan following in the footsteps of their parents. We have Nathan, Nathan and Haley's son, Jamie, uh, who's great, who's great. He's a great spark plug for this series and, you know, he basically becomes a great friend of Skill, which is amazing. And, you know, the boys sort of adopt him and take him under their wing. He's got such a good little heart and uh, it's, it really livens up the set a lot. It's extraordinary to watch. Um, Joy Galliotti kind of worked with him and all of a sudden it's like, you know, it's four years later on our show, but now she's a mother who, who responds to him like she's had a child for four years. Working with Jackson is just wonderful. He's, he's a, you know, he's a really smart kid and because he's so smart, he, he won't just do it just because you tell him to. He's, he's like, I don't understand why, why, you know? So you get to sit and you say, here's why, because this is the story you're telling and this is how you want to make people at home feel. And the light goes on, he's like, oh, I get it, you know? I think that's the stage that Nathan's at right now, you know? His son is so young and his son is just starting to learn things and Jamie's just starting to ask questions and I think Nathan is, is starting to realize that he's got to become a father, he's got to become a role model now. And that's really his, like, evolution. Instead of just being this kid that has a baby, now he's got to become a father. As far as Haley's transitioning from student to teacher, it seems like an easy one to me for her because she was a tutor, you know, and she that's that's what she does. And she's always sort of had that authority with, like, fellow students. With a four-year jump, uh, it allows us to sort of take a look at how was that journey for Nathan as an athlete, for Haley not only as a student, which she was, but as a mother and a young mother. Nathan and Haley will be together. Um, they will be facing new challenges together and going through all the things that a family goes through. It's going to be Nathan and Haley only. There's going to be Jamie as well. And uh, it's going to add a completely new element to the relationship that I think is going to be pretty great. We should get the house, Hales. You know why? Why? Because we did it together. We made it happen. And we're just going to have to get used to the fact that this is what life's like when your dreams come true. <laughs>